Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up alarms in Mapware 7000 using IEC programming language. I'll be creating three different alarms, a temperature out of range, a pressure out of range, and a no signal detector alarm. For this project, I'll be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically an HMC 4070. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you are the tags that I created for the alarms. So go to the tags folder and click the show hide filter and hide system tags. And these are the tags that I created. I created a bunch of bools for each alarm that you'll need. Uh, the first three, temperature out of range, pressure out of range, no signal alarm, are the tags for the actual alarms. And you'll also need acknowledgement tags. So I have one for temperature, pressure, no signal. And these are also register type bools, as well as a clear tag for clearing the alarm. And also you'll need to create a word register for data logging and you create these by going to add tag and then this would open up and you can name the tag here register type you would select in the drop down menu select pool and also for the word registers you would select word and then hit add and it creates the tag okay next you are going to create the alarms so go to the alarms folder and as you can see I've already created the alarms uh, temperature out of range pressure out of range and no signal detector alarm I'm going to create one just to show you how to set this up so under alarm tag tag will be I'm just going to choose the temperature out of range again type will be a coil alarm attributes uh, check off history with acknowledge and for the acknowledge tag you'll choose the acknowledge temperature alarm that you created earlier and for a clear tag choose the clear temperature alarm for auto acknowledge by default it's selected as acknowledge all and if memory is full, by default, erase previous alarms and start from the beginning. Click Add New Alarm. And it's up here in this window. And that's it. Here is the base screen for the alarms. This will show up on your user interface on HMC device. So to do this, you would go to Base Screen and right click New and type in Alarms. And so I'll go over everything on the screen first. I'm going to show you how you would create an alarm list. So for the real time alarm display, to do this you would go to draw, display objects and then click alarm list and you would drop it here. Over to the right are the alarm properties. Alarm type I chose real time and as far as the way it looks you would go to select display buttons. These six display buttons are over on the left side here so you have to add them to get them over to the right. So I've chosen to have all six to display on the real-time alarm display. Clear all, acknowledge clear, acknowledge all, next and previous. Then you hit OK and they would show up here. For selecting the display fields I chose to add alarm text on date, on time, off date, off time, and the header text is just alarm text. Hit OK. The other alarm display I created is for the alarm history. So you do the same thing. Draw, display objects, alarm list, but instead choose historical. And for the display buttons, I did not choose any of them. And I will go over this button is in a second but first I'm going to go over the display fields 
and I chose the same ones, alarm text, on date, on time, off date, off time, and you can choose the type of how it's displayed. I chose hours, minutes, seconds. You can choose minutes, seconds, or hours and minutes. The header text is off time, hit OK. Now for this button, this is a multi-task, single state button. When you are online, it'll clear the history here in this alarm display. So you would do that by going to draw, buttons, multitask, single state button, and create it here. For this, I chose the on text to say clear all. And for the task, I chose for a press task, clear historical alarm memory. And you do that by selecting a task, and it'd be a keys specific task. And I scrolled down and I chose clear historical alarm and I added it over here and then I hit OK. So now when I click this button when I'm online, it'll clear all the alarms in the alarm history. Next, I'm going to show you how I created the actual alarm toggle bits. So I created three toggle bits here and you do that by going to draw, buttons, bit action, toggle bit and temperature out of range, pressure out of range, no signal alarm. And for this, I chose to use a custom picture. So each of these are custom pictures. These are not pictures you can find in Mapware 7000. They're not default. You have to use the custom picture option. And to do that, you would go to button style and choose user defined images. And for the off text, chose to use an image that I put on a folder on my PC. So the off image is actually a black button here and the on image is the red that you can see here. And for a tag name, I selected the tag we created for the actual alarm. So it's a temperature out of range alarm tag name and that's a pool. And for the pressure out of range will be the pressure out of range alarm and no signal will be no signal. Now when you click these on, the alarm will show up here in the alarm display. And when the alarm is activated, it'll be red. You can see in the key here, so active unacknowledged alarm will be red. An inactive unacknowledged alarm will be yellow. And an active acknowledge alarm will be green. And I'll show you that when we go online later on. Before I show you how to set up your data logger, I'm going to show you what I created here. These are also two multitask single state buttons, just like the clear all button. And this one, when you click this, will export your data log. And then this one will remove the USB stick. If you choose to use a USB stick to log your data onto, it'll log it as CSV file. So I'll show you how to set up this export data log. This is a multi-task single state button. And same thing as the clear all, we'll assign it a task. And that task will be export data log CSV group one. And I'll show you how you create your groups a little bit later on. Uh, select task will be export data log CSV group. And then you would choose the group that you want to export, add it, to the press task and then hit OK. For the USB removal, same thing under the task. I chose safely remove USB stick. You want to have this button on your screen because if you eject the USB, it'll give you an error message on your PC if you do not safely remove your USB stick from the HMC device. It may look like that it got corrupted, but it's not. To avoid that, you can add this safely remove USB stick multitask single state button and hit OK once you add it to your press task. So at this point, you've created everything you need on your base screen. So next, we'll create a data logger. So over on the data logger folder, data logging. Here, I've already created one group, group one, and those word registers that I created earlier on add to the log file, and I'll show you how you set this up. Um, I'll create another group just to show you. So this is going to be group two. 
logging device, I'm going to use a USB stick. You can also do internal logging or you can use an SD card for the HMC4070. Uh, CSV export will be a single file. You can also do multiple files. As well as the logging mode will be on power up and it will log at every one second. Now the tags that I want to log will be, for example, I'll use another word register I created called alarm word three and add that. Now keep in mind the reason why I'm using word registers to log is because you cannot log bools. So you cannot log any of those alarm bools that we created earlier on. In IEC you use discrete bools to trigger alarms, not bits within a word. You can trigger alarms with the values in a word. So for example, if the temperature were to exceed a certain number, it would trigger an alarm. This word could then be sampled with data logging. So that's why we use word registers instead of bools. File name can be whatever you want. I'll name it log test. A sample number will have to be anything 10 or more. So you can change this to 15 or whatever you like. And at this point you can hit OK and then when the alarm goes off it'll log onto the USB stick and it'll be a CSV file that you can view later on. Okay, now that you have set up your base screen, your alarms, as well as your data logger, you are now ready to download and go online. So to download, go to mode, go online with download. And if you're downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I've already downloaded once, so I just need to have application checked off. Hit download. And it may take a few seconds for the HMC device to load the application. Once it does, in the compile window, it will say run. And that's how you know you're online and it's working properly. Okay, after you download and go online, I now have VNC viewer open to view the user interface on the HMC device. We're viewing the base screen that we created. Now I'm going to first trigger some alarms. Temperature out of range, pressure out of range, no signal, and you can see they all show up in the real time display and alarm history and they are labeled red as active unacknowledged alarms. If we were to turn these off without acknowledging them, so let's do that, they turn yellow, which is what's labeled here in the key, inactive unacknowledged. Let's trigger them again, and they're red again. So now let's acknowledge them. You can either individually acknowledge them if you were to click one, hit acknowledge, it's green, or you can just acknowledge all, and now they're all acknowledged. Uh, in order to clear the alarms, you'll need to turn off the alarms here, and then either select one individually and hit clear, or you can just hit clear all and they're gone. Now, I want to get the data from what just happened there. So I want to export the data log onto my USB stick and then be able to see that in a CSV file in Excel. In order to do that, you have to select the multitask single state button that you created. Okay, now hit export data log. Export in progress, group alarm log successfully. And at this point, you can now hit USB removal and it will remove the USB stick and then you can eject the USB stick and insert it into your PC and you'll be able to view your alarm history on a CSV file in Excel and lastly once you've exported the data log you can then clear your alarm history so just hit clear all and it removes all the alarms in your alarm history. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the Alarms tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching.